Welcome to Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by 7 Days and sponsored by Hotel Vermont and New England Federal Credit Union. My name is Ava Solberger. We are here in Shelburne. It's Small Business Saturday and we are celebrating 20 years of the Flying Pig Bookstore. We will call you that should be in probably Tuesday. There's something for everybody in the community at a bookstore. Kids are like, that's the Flying Pig Lady. Which is when I think we should have named ourselves the Graceful Gazelle. It's the best bookstore around. They are the heart of so many parts of the writing community. Finding a new book I'd like is usually exciting for me. Bring together authors and kids and readers. Can you read this to me, Mama? I saw that you're turning 20, and I just want to tell you I credit my daughter's love of learning to your bookstore. Aww. We're very, very much a family. <laughs> come on in. Come on in. No, no, come on in. Come on. We moved to Vermont from New York City in, in June of 96, and we were both writers and teachers, and we were going to take our time and thoughtfully find jobs, and then this little building had a for lease sign. We both had master's degrees in teaching. I had been a school librarian. Yeah. We met in adult literacy, so the whole book and we had looked around town natural. and we thought, there seem to be a lot of kids. Let's open a kids bookstore. We learned as we went. I mean, it was really, we were so young. We had no idea. And it was a tiny little mom and mom, you know, like mom yeah. and pop kind of store. The depth of expertise of Josie and Elizabeth just blew me away. So we started with 6,500 books. Now we have 30,000. And now we have 30,000. A lot of people still think of us as a kids bookstore because, so because our logo is so child ish, you know, child friendly. We're a general store now. We didn't ever think we would be here 20 years later. We divorced quite amicably four years ago. You're not going to walk away from a 25 year friend. I think also the store is like, you know, it's kind of like raising a child. And when you're family, it's really nice if you can hang on to the family. Yeah. They did the sheep over was the first one and then this is the new one. You know, we're on a national stage because it was, yeah. the independent bookstore world is small and a tight-knit community. Independent books selling is on the rise again. I think people really miss miss those bookstores. And you can't have someone from Amazon say, this is the book you have to read. So this would be good for the three-year-old. You like some spooky stories. And Captain Underpants, the yeah. author. And then for the four-year-old, four that's slightly a little bit older. The books that people come for, you know what's going on. Like, does someone have cancer? Is someone getting divorced? Is someone thinking about adopting a baby? Has someone adopted a baby? Someone's getting Lost a new a pet. Puppy. You find out so much about people through the books that are important to them. Magic adventure books, genie books. And you find out like what kids are struggling and what kids are getting bullied or what kids are thriving. And then knowing that helps you pick a better book. So let's um, zip over to graphic novels. Thank you. He's an ornament and he's also a finger puppet. Oh, Merry Christmas, guys. Thank you. Oh my god, it's Chris yes, Tebbets! Come on in! Chris Tebbets? Chris Tebbets? James Patterson. You have to, this, he's a really oh. famous author. I met Josie and Elizabeth when my very first novel was coming out and I dropped into the old store 14 years ago. So I'd say, yeah, I've been shopping here for a while. In what? fact, I just sold three of your books. Oh, awesome. Yeah. The community bookstores really bring authors into the community in a way that allows readers to interact with authors. Uh, Vermont is full of amazing, great author. I think per capita we have more than any state. I think that's true, I, I do think it yeah. is. They're also a really active, encouraging part of the writer-reader community. What I'm really looking forward to is the time that a kid who grew up at the bookstore comes to do a signing. National CBS was here filming us because of the Sheepover book. The year before we were in the Wall Street Journal, her own books have won awards, so you know she's been, as an author, just nationally celebrated, which is so fun to sell her books here. No, well, <laughs> well, it's true. Oh my gosh, well, Josie, four <laughs> time winner of the Seven Daisies Best Comedian in Vermont. There was no stand-up comedy scene when we moved here 20 years ago. And then I started teaching. There's so many good comics now. Like that feels like if I die tomorrow, that's a pretty awesome legacy between that and the bookstore. It's like, okay. Stop growing, it's freaking me out. <laughs> Christian? Yes. Oh my God, you're like a grown like eight foot man now. <laughs> oh my God. But this is what happens. I was here for was the Harry Potter seven when that came yes, out. Yes, you were. That small town feel, and like I was just in Barnes and Noble, and there's nobody there to help you. And I walk in here, and in five seconds, somebody's here to help. And and you don't get a hug at Barnes and Noble. Yeah, no. Yep. Did you guys get your cake punch? And it is Shop Small Saturday, so please shop small and support your local town stores and booksellers this holiday season. You can do things in Vermont. It's small enough that yeah. anything you dream of, you 
you can do, you can accomplish because you're only maybe one person away from the person you need to talk to. I'm leaving at the end of the year. What does that mean? It means I'm retiring from the bookstore and I'm going to be pursuing my work that I've been doing at the Pride Center. I'm sorry. It's going to be hard to leave. Why did you tell her? <laughs> but it's just to be, it's a privilege to be part of people's lives in this way. Give me the moon for a blanket. Give me the stars overhead. And I'll make the mountain my doorstep. And I'll make the desert my bed. I'll spend the hours among the flowers. I'll stay away from the throng. Let it rain or shine, the world is mine as I'm roll, roll, rolling along. You could buy things like The Killer and Me by my sister, Margot Harrison. And you can celebrate the Flying Pig's 20 year anniversary in mid January. They're going to have a big party, and we will get stuck in Vermont with you again real soon. Ooh, support local authors, local businesses, and local bookstores. And follow us on Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and sign up for our weekly email alerts. I think we won't be getting rid of her so easily. <laughs> I think we're going to see a lot of Josie. I'm going to be the best customer they've ever had. <laughs> see, from yeah. that point right yeah. there. <laughs> and I get to order the books, some of my deep, dark, serial killer books that I felt like I couldn't really read. I know. I... Okay, I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> And that you can't in almost any other business. So anyway, sorry. Are you kidding? This is gold. <laughs> <laughs>